CBC medical correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton here with us as we track all of today's major developments. And we have this big number, 81,000. That is the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations across the country right now. Federal data indicates that number is dropping, but hospital admission metrics are still rising in at least 16 states. All right, some good news there to hear anytime we're trending yeah. downward, but also some other good news having to do with the vaccine for kids 5 to 11 parents. Listen yep, up Yeah, absolutely, and we'll take any good news we can get. So Pfizer announcing that they have now submitted their data on the 5 through 11-year-old age group to the FDA now. Here's what needs to happen before those shots can go into arms. The FDA still needs to formally review that data with intense scrutiny on safety and efficacy. Pfizer still needs to formally submit an application for emergency use authorization. So another one of the procedural steps. The timeline is unknown. There are so many people throwing out guesstimates and estimates and predictions. But we have heard uh, officials from Washington, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, say possible by October or November shots in arms of children that age. All right, a lot of parents excited about that. I know you spoke to Dr. Fauci yeah. about uh, booster shots and specifically this, this notion of mixing and matching. Absolutely, I did ask him that and a lot of our viewers have been asking him that and what he told me is that there is data on clinical trials, mixing and matching different vaccines to different booster manufacturers. We can expect that in approximately two weeks. The current recommendations, I wanna be clear, you stay with Pfizer if your initial doses are with Pfizer. Remember, Pfizer right now is the only of the three manufacturers that is really authorized for a booster. Other vaccines, you know, in other infectious diseases do allow a mixing and a matching. We've seen that with the shingles vaccine, for example. And we have to remember that data from Moderna and Johnson & Johnson on their boosters still in the process of being evaluated. Well, Dr. Ice, can I ask though, is it possible it can be dangerous or are we just trying to evaluate if it's not gonna be necessarily helpful? Well, it's a little of each. Safety and okay. efficacy, there's a very low likelihood that these vaccines would have a significant safety signal okay. or danger, but really they wanna see also the efficacy. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you so you much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.